Robert Jenrick has piled in on the row after a Whitehall source suggested the PM could sign up to a pro-reparations communique. Keir Starmer was accused of losing the plot yesterday as the Commonwealth row about a multi-trillion program of slavery reparations reached boiling point. The Prime Minister's trip to the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting, CHOGM, in Samoa has been engulfed in a row about Britain's obligation to hand over billions in cash to make up for the country's involvement in the slave trade. While he was initially bullish and insisted reparations will not be on the agenda at this year's summit, a Whitehall source later suggested that the Prime Minister may agree to a communique that references slavery reparations, though this would not necessarily mean there is a change of policy. The news sparked Tory leadership contender Robert Jenrick to ask, has Keir Starmer lost the plot? Last year a report by the University of West Indies, backed by UN Judge Patrick Robinson, said Britain should cough up an eye-watering $24 trillion to make up for the historic injustice, taking into account the number enslaved, loss of life and liberty, personal injury, and mental trauma. Bahamian Foreign Minister Frederick Mitchell has now said that fellow Caribbean countries want the conversation to start about it. He added, there appears to be even a reluctance to have the conversation start. Many of the institutions in the UK have already conceded the point of apology, the British government isn't quite there. But at this time, the discussion needs to be had about the history of this and the ill effects of what happened after slavery was abolished, which continue to affect our societies today. Yesterday senior Conservative MP Andrew Rosendell accused Keir Starmer of bringing the reparations row on himself after appointing David Lammy to the Foreign Office. In a furious verbal attack, Mr Rosendell said that Mr Lammy's previous championing of slavery reparations to former members of the Commonwealth has given the green light to foreign leaders wanting free cash from Britain.